All right, that's one in the cart. Shea Moisture just came out with deodorant. Hello, can I get a grande um, caramel macchiato? Once again, grab it, fork through, and pull it through. I haven't looked at the rice yet. Ooh, girl, and this is how the rice turned out. Oh my freaking gosh, you guys, I'm gonna cry. Just got done taking my daily hygiene supplements. It's looking like you don't need much of it because I look like Frosty the Snowman. So that's gonna be my little combo of the night. And the only difference is, these are my favorite white pants. I love these, you guys. I'm gonna actually show you guys how much perfume I would spray on like a regular morning. These little bacons, $1.75. <laughs> you want something to eat? Hi, baby girl, you look so cute. Y'all, it is 6.50. We left the house at 6.20, but I had to grab an energy drink and then I realized I brought the wrong purse. Am I the only person that like switches out her purses so much that I believe in the house with the wrong bag, don't even got my wallet? And Walmart, my Walmart at least, does not have scan to pay. Like, come on, get updated. Anyways, so now it's 6.50 and we are getting ready to go ahead and pull up to Walmart. And I know y'all like, girl, why y'all out at 6.50 going to Walmart? So we personally like to go to walmart in the morning because that's when there's like not so much people in there not so many people in there and i'm gonna tell you right now it's the amount of people that are in walmart that makes walmart so annoying like if walmart wasn't so packed 24 7 it wouldn't be that bad like the prices are better they got a good variety they got groceries great i got it all but uh we can't do it if it's not the morning and i have a lash appointment at 10 30 so we were like you know what we're just gonna get up extremely early get what we got to get from Walmart and then I'll go to my lash appointment and I'll come back and start doing cooking and all kind of stuff like that. But the reason why I'm going to Walmart, I have two reasons. The first reason um, is the main reason and that's because I need to get like some meal prepping groceries. So one thing about me is sometimes I can be very toxic with eating. Like I will feel super sick. I'll be dizzy, lightheaded, all kind of crap. Feeling nauseous is all get out, but I just will not make myself nothing to eat because it's the process of having to go and get food or it's the process of having to make food that I just do not want to go through so I'm like you know what I'm gonna try to do some meal prepping and I'm gonna get a lot of chicken tenders because I want my mom to also eat it as well because my mom is the same exact way I got it from her she got it from her mama so this is like something we gotta we gotta stop because I don't want my little girl to do stuff like that so I'm trying to nip the stuff in the bud so my plan is to get like a bunch of chicken tenders and do like meal prep with those air fry them I'm thinking like some barbecue chicken tenders. I'm thinking something like that. And then I'm learning how to make rice right now. So I'm also going to be um, doing like some rice meal prepping as well. If I find anything else, I will go ahead and add that in there. But like rice and chicken is good enough for when I get hungry. I can just go ahead and eat that up real quick. And then the other reason is because like I've been telling y'all, my skin has just been so dry lately. So I want to go search for some body care products that are going to moisturize my skin. So y'all know I have always been into smelling really good I've always been into hygiene I still am but I've definitely been disregarding like actual skin health I've been putting like smelling good over my skin being healthy and I think I'm starting to like reap what I didn't sow because my skin has been having like dry patches my skin just feels so itchy it just feels so dry it just does not feel very healthy so I'm about to go up in here and try to find things that are actually healthy for my skin so like body skincare because girl I ain't gonna always have this young skin but what I can do is um, keep it for as long as I can by taking care of it a lot of us be taking for granted the things that we have in our youthful years and by taking it for granted I mean like you know not keeping up with ourselves not keeping up with our skin trying to keep it youthful so with that being said we have just arrived to walmart girl let's go get some body care and groceries okay so we just got to walmart and the first thing i'm seeing is this lubriderm advanced therapy body wash and it's supposed to help with itchy dry skin which is exactly what i'm struggling with so i'm gonna go ahead
ahead and grab this. And it's cute, y'all. It's pink. Crossing my fingers, this works, y'all, because it has been a struggle. Right here, they also have the matching lotion, the advanced therapy lotion. Once again, it's supposed to help with itchy, dry skin. Girl, I'm definitely grabbing that. Um, it is fragrance-free, but girl, I'm not worried about that. I can spray me a little perfume and call it a day. That's where majority of your fragrance comes from anyway. I know for a fact of a fact of a fact that this does work very well, this Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. This is very, very, very moisturizing, so I am going to grab that because I do know that works after this i'm good on like body washes and lotion actually no i do want to grab a cucumber body wash wherever the heck it is after that then i am good on body washes and lotion i don't go through lotion too fast so this will last me super long i do know eucerin is very moisturizing but what i love about this is that it has spf 15 which is very 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 important especially if you are exfoliating girl if you exfoliate and then go out into the sun you are going to damage your skin so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that because it has spf oh my gosh dove came out with a new body wash oh my gosh white White peach and rice milk. I'm just gonna hit it from the side, okay. All right, that's one in the cart. Girl, there's another new body wash. Oh my gosh. I don't know about this one though, y'all. I don't know. Blueberry and moon milk. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, mm-mm. I think it's the moon milk that's throwing it off. It smells like blueberry yogurt. I ain't into that. Girl, what the, hold on. Why is Olay charging $13 for body wash? Oh my gosh, girl. Since when? $13? Oh, shoot. Let me grab my holy grail. This is my holy grail, y'all. If you want to smell good, you got to have this body wash. Like, this is, like, definitely the strongest and best smelling body wash by Dove. Don't ever take my word for it when I say, oh, this is going to be the last one. This is going to be the last body wash. This is going to be the last lotion. Mm -mm. Because one thing about me is I'm going to always find something else. Vaseline just came out with a new lotion. This is their Radiant Even Tone. 1% niacinamide lotion. Girl, who don't want an even tone all over? I know I do. Okay. So this is definitely my top favorite lotion that they carry in stores. My favorite store-bought lotion. Honestly, no. This is my favorite lotion, period. This one and the baby powder lotion by um, the lotion company go kind of like toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is definitely the best store-bought lotion you can buy. This is the Hydrating Coconut by Jergens. What they added was they added like some little green leaves and like a little like hibiscus flower because it did not used to look like that. But I love it. It's so cute. I had this lotion on today. It smells so good. Don't I always smell good when I use this lotion babe oh yeah i love that one that's one of my favorites shea moisture just came out with deodorant and not only did they come out with like underarm deodorant they came out with whole body deodorant so this is the whole body deodorant stick and this is the whole body deodorant cream and then these are regular deodorants for your underarms i'm gonna grab the even tone deodorant because i do struggle with hyperpigmentation um and then i'm gonna grab the whole body cream deodorant because i feel like that would be a lot easier to apply so i'm gonna go ahead and grab these two and then I have seen so many commercials about this native whole body deodorant and I was going to order it on Amazon but I was like you know what I'm just going to get it at the store so I'm going to actually pick it up whole body you guys you can use it for your pits privates and more um this is in scent cucumber and mint what it looks like to me is that like the lady that made Lumi she cracked the code for how to make whole body deodorants and then like everybody just started jocking her swag I'm going to pick up the coconut and lavender whole body deodorant I know I'm picking up a lot of whole body deodorant but I would love to try them like this is a new technology y'all the music was way too loud, so I said, let me go ahead and do a voiceover. But you already know what a Natanola is in a hair care section, in a color folks hair care section, okay? I went ahead and picked me up a Natanola because I want to go ahead and see what this can do for my underarms as far as hyperpigmentation. And then I went ahead and picked up a fade milk, a tone correcting fade milk for my body. I really enjoy using Honey Pot Feminine Washes. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Bergamot Rose because I've never tried this one. And this definitely fits into like body care because these type of products are caring for your downstairs area. Not those, girl. And not those. This, girl. And I also wanna go ahead and try this Soothing Wash. It's designed for vulvas prone to itching. And I will say sometimes I do struggle with itchiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this as well girl i am highly upset so like i told y'all earlier i switched my bags out or did i tell y'all i don't even know i switched my purses out and my purse that i had this morning had all of my camera batteries in it i don't have no camera batteries and my camera just died so i guess we'll test out this new iphone 15 pro max camera which i'm gonna tell y'all right now it ain't that good i had an 11 and i kind of feel like my 11 was better a lot of people are saying they wish they would have never switched over to the 15 they should have stuck with a 14 13 12 11s and i'm kind of feeling the same way but you know what the back camera is pretty good but it is kind of fun because i originally started my youtube channel on my phone so this is actually kind of fun but yeah y'all this is the 15 pro max um phone camera 
I think it really depends on the lighting, but I did find two fragrances and that was my key to walk out of the little body care section because I was supposed to be looking for body care and not like hygiene. Like body care and not smell goods. Anyways, I did pick up two fragrances. We're headed to like the grocery section now. The early bird catches the worm, y'all. I gotta start getting out way earlier because this was really nice getting out and still having a full day. But yeah, so these were the fragrances that I found. I found a pink sugar body spray as well as a Billie Eilish perfume. Oh. Oh Lord. So that was a fail. But anyways, these were the fragrances that I did pick up. This is pink sugar. This is a very sugary, sweet kind of fragrance. So if you have a perfume and you feel like it needs some sugar to it, girl, I would definitely layer it with pink sugar. That's why I'm buying it because I like to layer with it. And then I also grabbed this Billie Eilish Eilish perfume. When I smelled it, it smells like a very mature and beautiful vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And our Walmart trip is complete. We got everything we needed. I went ahead and grabbed two bigger packs of like chicken breast tenderloins because I want to go ahead and do meal prep with those. Like I told you guys earlier, I got a pack of rice. But now I'm thinking like, mm, if I'm going to be doing all that meal prep and I'm probably not going to want to make lunch. And if I decide to feed everybody some of the chicken tenders that I prepped, there would be less meal prep. But I don't think it's a bad idea to eat for lunch what I'm also prepping um, because it'll be easier on me. And there will still be a good amount of um, chicken tenderloins left over for the prepping. The perks of vlogging on my phone is that the sun, like it allows the sun to come through. We love it. My camera could never. Okay, girl, I made it home safe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to go ahead and start getting everything put away. I'm trying to down some water right now, y'all, because I need some natural energy. I feel so tired right now, like super sleepy. But the last thing I need to do before my lash appointment is drink caffeine because I'll be up in there, eyes fluttering and watering. I'm feeling all antsy. I just want to get out of the building. So that's why I'm trying to drink some water. And I'm about to go ahead and make me a smoothie so I can get some natural energy from my berries as well. Because at this point... I want to take a nap, <laughs> okay? And girl, do not mind my nails. I got an appointment scheduled in like a couple days. I'll be going to get my nails done. And I'm actually going to be going to get my nails done by an old home girl. We grew up together and she's real good with nails and stuff like that. So I booked an appointment with her. So I'm real excited about that. So the next video y'all see, my nails should be pretty darn fleeky. All right. But I just got done putting away my bag of pears. I bought a bag of pears, y'all, because I love pears. So I went ahead and put my pears away. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything else away. I got me a fruit salad blend. This one looks so amazing, y'all. This has peaches, pineapple, red seedless grapes, and kiwi. And then like I told y'all earlier, I got two big packs of um, chicken breast tenderloins. The only thing that's annoying with making tenderloins is getting that little gristle part out. I always put it in a fork and pull it through the fork so they can come straight out, but it always takes so long. And I'm not meal prepping for like a week. I'm only meal prepping for like a couple days to see how I do with it, see how we like it, see if we actually reach for it. I got my creamer. This is my favorite creamer. This is the Silk Almond Creamer in the flavor Caramel. I got some onion powder, girl, because we be going through onion powder pretty fast in here. We love our onion powder. I got some coffee. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of like the name of this. It's called Death Wish Coffee. Not the biggest fan of the name, but the coffee does work very well, so I do buy it. I mean, same thing kind of applies to this. I do not like what Billie Eilish stands for. A lot of her music has a very dark, depressing spirit on it, but there's no issue in wearing her fragrance. You kind of get what I'm saying? But if I was like, ooh, no, I would definitely not buy that perfume. Oh my gosh, that girl. Um, At that point, I'm over-spiritualizing it. So anyways, I got me some coffee. I got me some heavy whipping cream. For some reason, I have been loving heavy whipping cream in my coffee. I got me some Orbit gum. Let me put this in my purse. Where's my purse? I already took it upstairs. I'll put that in my purse because I like to have gum in the car. We're not going to talk about this because I know y'all going to judge me. Once in a while, growing up, my mom would give me a taste of like her sardines. I'm pretty sure she got hers in the oil, but I didn't want to get the oil. So these are sardines, y'all. Don't be trying to judge me. Um, This one is in Louisiana hot sauce and this one is in mustard sauce. I definitely don't usually want that but like last night i was craving them and i was like i'm putting it on my walmart list because i really want some sardines i know it sounds gross but they kind of hit sometimes i got a pack of apples trying to get on my fruit yes ma'am because i'm not gonna lie i've been seeing a really big difference in my skin ever since i started drinking smoothies every single day maybe i'm tripping or maybe my skin is like okay girl i'm your friend but i think it's because the smoothies like my skin has just been looking really good oh he about to have to come downstairs and chop all of these up and put them in the freezer in like a baggie because he likes to make himself um banana protein 
and peanut butter smoothies, yeah. But we discussed how it would be so much cheaper if we just bought the bananas, chopped them up, put them in a Ziploc baggie, and put them in the freezer. Don't judge me, these ain't bad. They do not compare to my mama's greens, but these ain't bad. These are the Glory Foods seasoned Southern style collard greens. They ain't bad, y'all. If I ever want like some greens or something like that, I'ma eat them off the can. I love leaf spinach. If it's seasoned real good, you put some salt, some pepper, some accent, some onion powder, girl, some Cajun seasoning. I had me some last night with some rice. Girl, too good. Okay, so I'm just grabbing things that I know I will eat because me and food have not had the best relationship. We're starting to get better, which is why I can't fit none of my freaking pants, but we still got a long way to go. Yesterday, girl, I made steak bowls. Here goes the picture right here. It was so good, girl. I had the rice, the steak, the avocados, the beans, the sour cream, the cheese, lemon, girl, it had it all. And then I made some spaghetti, girl, bomb, 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 with some garlic bread on the side. Okay. I feel like I make all of my good meals off of camera just because when I'm cooking, I like to focus. I like to focus when I'm cooking and when I have a camera on, it is harder for me to focus. I got some rice. And last but not least, I'm debating on if I wanna show y'all this. There's nothing wrong with this purchase at all. I'm just gonna show it, I don't care. I can hear it right now. Girl, didn't you say to wait to have kids? I did, and I still think it's smart to wait to have children. And no, I am not pregnant, but Jordan and I do wanna start a family in the next couple of years. And I seen this outfit and I really wanted to get it because I know our future baby will wear it. And it's just gonna be a really nice memory to be like, no, I was not pregnant. No, we were not planning on having a baby anytime soon, but I seen this and I knew one day I would have this baby. So I'm putting this outfit on that I bought so long ago. I know I'm like all over the place right now. I'm just like really nervous to even show you guys this, but who cares? It's my life. This is their first clothing piece. Of course, they wouldn't be able to fit it fresh out the womb because girl, this is the three to six month. Oh, and my mom's coming up the stairs. Never mind. My mom actually thought the outfit was super cute. I don't know why I'm always nervous to like talk about stuff like that in front of my mom. I don't know why I feel like she's gonna be disappointed because she never is. I think it actually has a lot to do with me because my entire life I thought that for me to be successful and do good in life, no kids, don't have no boyfriend till you're like 35, make a lot of money, have a lot of stuff, you know, that's what's to be proud of. But no, there's so much more to life than just that. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I would have been married to my husband, been married a long time ago to my husband, if I wasn't so concerned about what people were gonna think. Oh, you got married so fast. Oh, you must not be able to just wait. Just me thinking about everything that people would say about me getting married at 20. And I regret that so much. If you know that you are supposed to do something, but you're scared about what everybody else is gonna say, just do it because in the end, you are gonna be very happy that you did because now in the end, I'm grateful that I'm married, but I actually am kind of regretting not getting married earlier because I know the only reason why I didn't get married earlier was because of fear of man. And the reality of it is what I did is how it's supposed to be done. We are not supposed to use our young youthful days to go out and test drive a bunch of cars to know if they're really the one we want. If we are gonna be in a relationship with somebody, it is either one of two things, refrain from sex or get married. I did both of those, but I definitely should have got married a lot faster. And I'm starting to realize that all of these amazing things, marriage, motherhood, family unit, these things are attacked by the enemy. These things are made to be eh, normal, boring, stressful, same old, same old. But in reality, that's what matters. This right here has strawberry, mango, pineapples, peaches, grapes, and kiwi. So I'm making a smoothie for me and my mom because like I said, we're very similar in the no eating category and we both do not like breakfast, but we could definitely do a smoothie. I'm noticing that I'm feeling a little extra anxious right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down all of my study materials and I'm gonna do a little bit more studying because girl, I ain't feeling right. And I know if I get filled with the word of God, I'll feel much better. And also as a woman, it's just different. Now this isn't every woman, but it has been proven that women don't find fulfillment in their careers. They might, they might find temporary fulfillment, but in the end, they're not fulfilled. Whereas men, they can be fulfilled just from having a good career by making good money. Women, on the other hand, not every woman, once again, but women do get fulfillment from being a good mom and a good wife. At the end of the day, those are gonna be the most important things to us women. And men as well, you know, their family and their wife. But as far as like being fulfilled and knowing that what you're doing is right, there's a purpose in this, being a good mom and a good wife. 
brings true fulfillment. And I already know there's gonna be tons of moms out there like, let me make it clear that being a mom is not easy. It's not what you think it's gonna be, this and this and that. Trust me, I already know. I already know how the whole game goes. Being a mom is definitely in the top hardest jobs in the world. But in the end, it's very much so worth it. Anyways, girl, let me get to my study because I got about 40 minutes before I head out of here. This is a scripture that I actually find myself coming back to a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and read it just because I don't know one person that could benefit from this scripture, Psalm 23. This is the big dog, y'all. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, to guide, and to shield me. I shall not want. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and quiet waters. So we'll stop there. What it means so far is literally what it says. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd. He is here to guide us and take care of us. And since that's the truth, I shall not want because he provides everything we need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and quiet waters. That represents the rest of God. And as we all know, the rest of God is not rest from activity. It's not rest from work. It's rest and work. Working becomes so exhausting and so annoying when we enter works of the flesh. Works of the flesh is trying to do something without God's help. If we allow the Lord Jesus Christ to speak with us and help us, even in our careers even in our job it won't seem so bad it won't seem like such hard exhausting work actually from what the Bible says we can enjoy work the Bible tells us to work as if we're working for him for the Lord be joyful and grateful that you even have a job he refreshes and restores my soul which is life so he refreshes and restores our life he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake so we can walk and behave in a righteous way because of the salvation of Christ we are made righteous because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil for you are with me your rod to protect and your staff to guide they comfort and console me what that means is even though we're walking through very rough hard times we don't have to be scared we don't have to be anxious we don't have to worry because he is with us and if he is with us girl who can be against us my lips are so dry i cannot wait to put some chapstick on but i gotta stay focused you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies so those people that are trying to tear you down or trying to knock you down are trying to oppose god's will in your life in front of them he will bless you and take you to new levels in front of them he will show them that you're his you have anointed and refreshed my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life because of how good God is his goodness and mercy and unfailing love will follow us all the days of our life wow I love that one surely his goodness his mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life that means that there is nothing that can separate me from the love of Christ there's nothing that can separate me from how merciful he is towards me there is nothing that can separate me from his mercy and his goodness and I shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the Lord I don't know about y'all but what I took from that is that I am so special to God he loves me so much he is mine and he is here for me he is here to love me to show me his goodness he will cause me to prosper in front of my enemies even when I go through the toughest stuff he is there with me he refreshes and restores my soul he helps me to rest in areas where i never thought i could and he will always guide me and shield me protect me and make sure i'm fed make sure i got everything i need psalm 23 is a scripture that is so amazing to meditate on the more you go over and over and over psalms 23 you realize how much god loves you Girl, fresh set of lashes. Yes, ma'am. I'm pulling up to give me a little coffee because your girl's so tired. Perfect. It ain't much of a line at all. I love that every Hello, single time. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you today? Hello. Can I get a grande um, caramel macchiato? Iced grande, caramel macchiato. Iced. Grande iced caramel macchiato? Yes. Okay. And that'll be it. Total $5.99. Thank you. Thank you. 
y'all heard that so every single time I come to a stop my engine shuts off and then it turns back on um, every single time I drive is that a Doberman oh no that's a um, German Shepherd I love Dobermans they're so freaking cute oh yeah I recently had like 700 points saved up on my um, Starbucks app which would be $700 worth of stars because every dollar you spend you get a star so that was $700 worth of points I didn't know they expire after six months so I went to um, so I went to Starbucks recently to go ahead and get a Starbucks and I was like you know what I'm gonna pay for it with my points might as well start using them and they were all gone and I looked it up they expire after six months see they don't tell you that on the app and they don't tell you that when you start collecting points but I'm telling you so don't get don't get scammed girl but I was gonna say I cannot stand when I get done getting my lashes done every single time my hair looks crazy my eyebrows look crazy because they have to be like hands on your eyebrows um, and then when you lay down it flattens your hair and then a lot of the times your hair is like where their breast is and so they're like pushing up against your hair and then when I take my mask off my face is like super red but you know what I don't care I'm still gonna turn on the camera cuz you know what this is me after a lash appointment okay I ain't worried about it hello yes oh uh, yes please and then yeah I recently had like 700 and I didn't know they expired they were all gone one day really all gone yeah thank you so much you have a great day thank you I was like oh no that's so sad no it literally is so sad like I literally cried but you know what I dusted myself off and I went into my day with a good attitude because you know what there's always gonna be little things that the devil uses to try to get you all you know upset but don't take it crap I don't have any cash and this man has a sign up I don't have any cash oh my gosh I hate that mm, 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 mm. I don't have no cash I don't have no cash mm, 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 mm. oh I cannot stand when I don't have any cash to give like I cannot stand that and then I just sit there in my car trying to avoid eye contact because like I don't have any cash to give him. I gotta always make sure I have cash in my wallet. And you know what's crazy? Is I knew something, which is not something, it was the Holy Spirit, told me to take out money earlier while I was at Walmart, but I didn't do it. Ugh. If you ever feel like you should take cash out, just take the cash out. Because this is not the first time this has happened where I don't have the cash to give. It's like at this point, y'all might as well start printing out a QR code so I could just send you some cash app or something, okay? Let me start drinking on my coffee. My last, oh my. Slow, stop a person just jumped straight in front of my car and then another lady tried to jump in front of my car the devil's a liar thank you jesus for protecting me oh my gosh thank you jesus hallelujah but my lash tech had asked me if i had anything planned for this summer i'm like no am i the only person that don't be like doing like all the vacation stuff and it's not even that i can't it's more of like i don't have anywhere i really want to go and I feel like if I don't really want to go, it's going to be a hassle even going because all the packing and the flights and just everything. If I don't really want to go, if I'm not in need of a vacation, I'm not going to go. And there's nowhere that I really want to go. I mean, I will say I do want to go back to Disney World, but when I go to Disney World, I want to go with my entire family. Me, Jordan, my mom, my brothers. OK, so that would be all of my siblings. So I want to go with all of my siblings. And then I would also want to bring Zaire. So that is one place I do want to go. We have discussed it a little bit here and there in our family. It's just that everybody's schedule is so different. Had a good little lash appointment. I'm about to go home and cook up some lunch slash meal prep. All right, we got tons of chicken to make. Girl, I got two hampers full of laundry. And coming up here soon, I'm going to have to do like a closet clean out because when I moved, I could still fit all of the clothes that I brought. But every single time I try on a pair of pants and every single time I try on a dress, like, like nothing fits me anymore so I'm gonna have to start gutting out all the clothes that do not fit me which is so much and then everything that's in like my two hampers right now are like my go-to outfits my go-to clothes so I really got to get some laundry done let me quickly show you guys how to get like the gristle part out of a tenderloin since chicken is really slimy you're gonna need paper towels so grab it with the paper towel and then get a fork and put the fork or put the gristle part in between one of the fork pieces and then pull it through and there you go. Once again, grab it, fork through, and pull it through. Over here, I have all the seasonings that went into the rice. And I say went into past tense because my mom is already making the rice. When I tell y'all she makes the, this boy over here nodding his head, she <laughs> makes the best rice. I swear to gosh, it is so flavorful and so amazing. And she offered to make it. So I said, yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to sit back and watch you. So next time I can make it good because the rice I made yesterday was not so freaking good. These are the seasonings she uses. So she uses half broth and half water. She usually 
only uses chicken broth, but since this is all we had, she went ahead and used the beef broth. She uses this chicken bouillon seasoning, paprika, smoked paprika, accent, cayenne pepper, liquid smoke, y'all. This stuff makes it so banging. And then of course, onion powder and garlic powder. So those are the seasonings that are in the rice. This boy over here cutting up his bananas. Yeah. He getting ready to put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Look at you prepping your bananas. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started seasoning up this chicken, getting the barbecue sauce in here and tossing them in the air fryer. Super simple and I bet you it's gonna be super yummy. I think I'm gonna do about the same seasonings as what she put in the rice. So we're gonna do that chicken bouillon seasoning. Y'all, this is tons of chicken. This is plenty. For some reason, it, although it looked like it was a lot of chicken, the price was throwing me off because I usually do my grocery shopping at um, Kroger. But girl, Walmart is so freaking cheap. All of these chicken tenders came up to like 18 bucks. That is crazy. For one pack of chicken tenders that probably has like, what, eight tenders in it, is $13 at Kroger. I'm gonna definitely have to start doing more grocery shopping at um, Walmart because dang, I didn't know how cheap they were. The reduced stuff either. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, oh my gosh. That kind of Paprika, smoked paprika, oh my gosh. I just can't, hold oh no. Garlic powder, oh my goodness, whew. Me and that Kanye pepper be burning. <laughs> All right, now we got some onion powder. As I get older, I'm starting to learn like a lot more about my body and like what, what my body's trying to tell me when it's feeling some kind of way. And girl, when I tell you I'm getting ready to start my period, girl, I know I am. The brain fog is crazy. I can barely even remember anything from today. I'm feeling a little bit more anxious and irritable. I'm just not feeling the best today, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? That's not gonna stop me. I got some Parmesan and herb. We gonna do some pepper, pepper. Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna do a little bit of liquid smoke too. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Liquid smoke used to be a lot more concentrated. It's not that concentrated anymore, I'm not gonna lie. All right, girl, now this is where the flavor comes in. Well, not necessarily. I guess the flavor being in. But now we're gonna go ahead and put some barbecue sauce in there, girl. I'm gonna put some Worcester sauce. And also the barbecue sauce is in the flavor Vidalia onion. It's not really good, so I went ahead and picked that up. Now let's go ahead and start mixing all this chicken around. This is what that chicken is looking like. We're gonna go ahead and toss these in the air fryer. We're gonna toss as many as we can in. Awesome, so the air fryer is fitting a little under half of the entire pan. So it's looking pretty good, y'all. This might not get done too slow. Don't mind my eyebrows. Like I told y'all earlier, they get messed up during the process of getting my lashes done. But these are my lash results. I forgot to show y'all up close, but. Super cute, y'all know I get them super bold, super long. Oh my freaking gosh, you guys, I'm gonna cry. I swear to gosh. I am sorting out my clothes right now and I seen like this stain on my pink pants and I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Like, where's that coming from? Is it on the shirt? Oh my gosh, thank gosh it's not. And I was like, where the heck is that coming from? But I really didn't pay it no mind. I'm like, maybe I just like, accidentally got something on my sweatpants didn't really notice and then I seen this jacket and this is that jacket I was telling you guys about in one of my recent vlogs that I was like really upset that I messed up the sleeve part this is a very expensive jacket from Victoria's Secret oh my gosh I look over and I see all of these stains on literally one of my top favorite jackets then I was like it was this stupid black bonnet that I literally just recently found in my little cabinet in my bathroom. Screw that dumb bonnet. Girl, I'm just sitting here praying these dang stains come out of my clothes because not only is it on those, it's on this white shirt, this white tank top, these sweatpants, like, oh my gosh, I'm so upset. Man, that really sucks. And I'm like, how did the color from the bonnet leak on my clothes if the bonnet wasn't even wet? It's not adding up. Something ain't right. But sorting my clothes is an old trick my parents taught me. And when I tell y'all, it makes laundry so much easier. And also, it just motivates me to get my laundry done because it's already pre-sorted and all I have to do is pick it up, 
put it in the washer and call it a day because I notice myself if I don't sort out my clothes like it takes me a while to get back to that washer to put the next load in okay girl so this is what the first batch of chicken came out looking like it does look a little burnt but they don't taste burnt they just taste very crispy and good but for the next batch I definitely will keep an eye on them these were literally only in the air fryer for like 15 minutes and this is what happened but they're looking good though I like my food to have some crispiness on it as long as it don't taste burnt okay I'm good I have haven't looked at the rice yet. Ooh, girl. And this is how the rice turned out. This got melted in the dishwasher. So girl, do not mind it. We're gonna go ahead and fluff this rice up. I'm gonna go ahead and start making everybody's plate for lunch and then um, put the rest of that chicken in there. Come get your lunch, babe. Ooh. This one's yours. Thank you so much. This looks so good and presentable, girl. Yeah, I can put some apples on there because I forgot to make some kind of vegetable. Um, but this is how lunch turned out today, you guys. We got the chicken, the rice, the apples. Yes, ma'am. The chicken is a lot more moist than I thought it was going to be because I thought I kind of dried it out a little bit. But girl, it's very moist and it is very, very good. Now, over here, I did tell my mom she should have made more rice. But she was like, girl, if we need more rice, I can make more rice any day. Rice is super easy to make. So we don't have much rice for like the prepping but my mama says she can make it any day and since I know how to make it now I can make it any day this is what we have left over from lunch not much but all of this will be prepped but let me go give my mama her lunch and then I'll throw the rest of these in and honestly I'm gonna eat and take a little shower because I haven't had a shower today I'm gonna try my new product yeah yeah everybody's loving their lunch so far and i went ahead and put the rest of the chicken in the air fryer i'm gonna put those in there for about hmm 14 minutes mm -hmm. the rice is bomb like always girl the chicken is so moist mm. it's got like a crunchy exterior but a very moist interior the barbecue on it tastes very 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 good and girl we already know how the apples do I let my jacket sit in bleach. I'm really hoping the stain is gone. It's very faint, or not very, very faint. It's pretty faint though. Like you can still see it like a tiny bit. There's like a line right here and a line right here and it shoots across. You can still kind of see it, but at this point I'm just grateful it mainly came out. And maybe, just maybe, it might come out over time. I've had stains that came out over time, like after like three or four washes. So this might be that kind of deal. Hoping so. All right, girl, I'm gonna go get the rest of this chicken out of the air fryer, put it away, and then get in the shower. Miss Ma'am loves when I do laundry because she gets to lay on my laundry. And this is what I have for my meal prep, a full Tupperware of barbecue air fried chicken and some rice. If I find myself reaching for this very often, then I'm definitely gonna start doing a lot more meal prep.
straightened up the kitchen. I lit me a little candle. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a little superfood drink. I think I have the prettiest dog. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do, honey. Huh? Yay, girl. My girl gets groomed tomorrow. You're going to be looking so pretty. See, I already do, Mom. Please do not mind my voice, it is so early and I wanna get this video up by today. So let's go ahead and hop into these reviews. So first things first, I went ahead and tried the Lubriderm Advanced Therapy Body Wash. And may I just off the bat say, this is a 10 out of 10 product. I 100% recommend this body wash. This is the best body wash I have ever used. The lather was out of this world. On the first cleanse, it had a very rich and thick consistency and my skin was not squeaky at all once I got done cleansing my skin and what that told me was that this body wash is very moisturizing so this right here is going to be a staple in my body hair routine as far as my panoxyl y'all already know how I feel about that this right here has been really helping with my chest acne I've been getting like small little breakouts on my chest and it's so annoying so using this on my chest and allowing it to sit for like a minute really helps and then I also apply it to my underarms after I get done cleansing them for a minute and I literally have no odor for 20 24 hours. Girl, let's get into this Honey Pot Bergamot Rose Feminine Wash. I'm not the biggest fan of all rose scents. Some rose scents just smell like gross to me. And this does kind of have like the rose scent that I don't like, but it's so faint that it really does not bother me. And it worked just like any other Honey Pot wash. Amazing. Just got done taking my daily hygiene supplements. Now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and start trying my new products. So as y'all already know, I have a new favorite body wash that is literally the best body wash I have ever used in my life. The best for my skin, the best lather, the best moisture. Oh my gosh, it's like a dream. Now let's see if this lotion is just as much of a dream. This is the matching Lubriderm lotion. And I have really high expectations for this considering how amazing that body wash worked. But first things first, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and take these rings off. Cannot stand applying lotion with my rings on, y'all. It's like so cringe to me. Girl, let's see, this is really exciting. And I do not care that these products are fragrance free. I am really just, focusing on the health of my skin. You can always use perfume, body sprays, and those will make up for the fragrance-free part. Okay, so it's looking like you don't need much of it because I look like Frosty the Snowman. Um, it's definitely like one of those lotions that doesn't absorb instantly, like you gotta rub it in for a little while, which I don't like. So that's the first thing that I'm noticing. And I don't like it, but it feels nice on my skin. It's pretty time consuming trying to, um rub it in but what i would say is like once you got everything like distributed move on to your legs and then come back up and then rub it in because it'll be easier that way the longer it sits the more it kind of like settles into the skin so when you come back the job's almost done so i will say my skin feels very moisturized like my skin feels amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this an 8.5 out of 10 i don't like that it took so long to like absorb on my skin matter of fact no i'm just gonna rate it a 9 out of 10 because i'm just gonna take one point off for like it not rubbing in instantly but y'all my skin feels so moisturized and it's not greasy that's what i love now let's get into my armpit care so i am trying to work on getting my armpits lighter from the shaving that i've done over the years my armpits have just gotten darker i do want to start getting my underarms waxed though i want to try it at least one time the only reason why i'm like a little bit nervous is because i have really sensitive underarms but i was told by a wax lady before when i was getting brazilian waxes she told me that she had very sensitive underarms and ever since she started to get them waxed they were like no longer sensitive and i've always thought about what she said but i just was like 
No. Because I've watched like armpit waxing videos and like I see like the armpits bleed and stuff like that. I'm just like really nervous. I tried to wax my armpits by myself one time. You guys already know one video. It was like bleeding. It was like a mess. It was ugh, my skin was just raw. It was so bad. I'm going to try this stuff at home first to see if I can still shave and keep lighter underarms. But if not, I'm going to start getting them waxed. So this is Natanola Fade Cream. A lot of people use this for their face for like dark spots or like hyperpigmentation. Um, I'm going to use it for my underarms because I mean... There's nothing saying you can't. And it's funny because my mom actually used this growing up and her mom used it. So when she ran out, we would go to Walmart and she'd pick her up a fresh little Natanola or at the beauty supply store. So it's like, I always knew where it was, but I was like, no, nah. you know, they get better with stuff like this. Like they probably put the Natanola where the facial care probably is. Girl, I was looking high and low on that facial care and I said, mm -mm. I said, Jordan's in the hair care. He said it would not be in the hair care. I said, yep. It's in the black folks hair care. I'm telling you why. Let's, let's, let's go on over here. We went over there, girl. Natanola. I'm going to use it for my underarms to see what it can do. So this is what it looks like, y'all. <laughs> this is pretty nostalgic because I've always seen this grown up. So I'm going to get a little bit of this. And I'm going to apply it to my underarms. And I'm going to let it dry for a little while. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my new deodorant. My Shea Moisture deodorant. And I love how their packaging is literally the same exact bottle. Um, or their bottle is the same exact bottle as Dove. I wonder how they did that. <laughs> Get it on my elbows. Which is why I bought that other lotion for like my elbows or like scars on my legs, uh, my ankles. Okay now, let's see how this perfume really smells outside of the box. Let's see because this was kind of a blind buy. I mean, I did scratch and sniff, but this was kind of a blind buy, y'all. First of all, that's way too crunchy. This is like the cheap wrapping paper. The packaging is definitely very cute. I think it's very aesthetic and very, very, very cute. Is this supposed to be like her face? It doesn't really look like her. So this is the packaging. It's got like her signature on the side. Okay, so off rip, it does smell like cheap because that alcohol hits you and when the first thing you smell is alcohol but dang is that settle down so attractive oh my gosh that is so beautiful if i would have known it smelled like this i would have been bought the full bottle which i definitely will be buying the full size bottle when i'm done with this this is a very beautiful fragrance i am not gonna lie billy eilish you did your big one on this one i really like this vanilla it's like a stronger bare vanilla but Victoria's Secret. It's like stronger and it's got like more creamy notes and like it's bomb. This is very beautiful. I am very excited about this. Jordan is gonna love this. Oh, maybe I see why I didn't like it. It's because when you first smell it, there's like this smell that like does not smell right. I could see why I maybe thought it smelled gross. But then when it actually dies down, it smells so beautiful. Now, this is something you got to do, Billy. You got to make sure that the first thing they smell is something amazing because that's what's going to get people. Because, girl, you had me thinking it smelled nasty for so long. I was like, mm, mm But then I smelled it on the scratch and stuff, and I was like, mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm going to take the chance. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and apply my new Shea Moisture Vitamin C and Niacinamide Even Tone Deodorant. This is so exciting, you guys. I need all the even tone I can get. Let's smell it. Ooh, oh my gosh, wait. Kind of smells peachy. Kind of smells like peach. Okay, I'll apply that right over the Natanola. Okay, nice. It's like so buttery, you guys. It's so smooth. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and applied the Shea Moisture Whole Body Deal Cream downstairs. And off rip, it smells exactly like, hold on. It smells exactly like their coconut and hibiscus hair products. I'm pretty sure y'all are familiar with Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus. Same scent, same exact scent. But I need time with this product. I mean, even this one, even this deodorant. You need time with deodorant to know if it works or not. But also you need time with feminine hygiene products. So for something like this, this could potentially irritate take me but I wouldn't necessarily know instantly or I may not even know two days from now but a week later it may creep up on me and out of nowhere like I am heavily irritated by this product so I cannot give you guys a review on this product yet 
but I will be able to soon. I'm gonna go ahead and layer my Billie Eilish fragrance with my Taraji P. Henson Vanilla and Tuberose Body Spray. So that's gonna be my little combo of the night. And yes, I wear perfume and deodorant and lotions and all of that to bed. Yes, I do, yes, I do. It ain't that I'm about to be stinking. It's just that when I'm halfway waking up in the night and I'm rolling over and I wanna smell goodness, okay? Ooh, these smell so good. Girl, these are like a perfect layering combo. Whatever the heck. I smell so good right now. This is literally out of pocket. About to go in my husband's room like, hey, what's up? How you doing? What's going on? What, huh? Y'all probably don't care, but this is an overview of all of the products that I purchased today. Y'all, this smells so girly and pretty. I've honestly never been a big fan of like anything peach scented. What opened me up to like peach scents was Peach Bellini by Bath & Body Works, the candle. It really opened me up to like peach scents. And girl, now I'm here and I just love everything peach. And this is not like too fruity it's a very subtle clean peachy nice scent i love it i'm not really smelling any rice milk but honestly to be fair i don't really know what rice milk smells like but i'm not really smelling that it just smells so beautiful but anyways yeah that's the overview oops somebody just texted me that's the overview of all the products that i purchased today my room is disgusting please do not mind that but these are my pajamas Hair time, yes ma'am. So I need to go ahead and do something with my hair before I head to bed because I'm feeling that there's like really dry and tangled parts and girl, I can't let that happen. So to make this simple, I'm just gonna do one part down the middle and I'm just gonna do like two pigtail twists. I'm trying to get to bed at a good time because um, Jordan and I have to take off at 7.30 tomorrow morning for Lockett's grooming. I still get her groomed by the same groomer just because my girl, she don't really know many people and I don't mind that because she's not aggressive or anything and she doesn't really need to be anywhere, you know, out of her comfort zone. And she really loves her groomer. <laughs> like her groomer is like the only other person outside of family that she will go to because Lockett will not go to people. That's one thing about Lockett, like she'll play you. Like she'll act like she's gonna come to you and then you put your hand out and she's gone. She's not gonna let you pet her. She's not gonna do it. She don't care what you got to treat. She don't give a crap. She feel like if she don't know you, she don't need to know you. Like that's my girl. Like that's just how she is. And I ain't mad at it. Y'all know I always use my do grow moisturizing hair lotion and it just moisturizes my hair and it also detangles it and then once it's all detangled i'm gonna go ahead and just start twisting that up put a little hair tie at the bottom and then i'll put a bonnet on y'all my hair seems like it's growing so fast right now and the key word is seems because it may not be true but it really feels like it is growing so fast like out of nowhere i feel like i have a good amount of length like it was not just this long like I'm tripping, but I'm not. And the only difference is, the only difference is that I have had my hands in my hair a lot more. So I've been doing a lot more styling. I also have been letting it just be down in its natural state, um, but I do style it more. I moisturize it more. I don't just put moisturizer in it the day that I wash my hair and just let it go for the days on. No, I still put moisturizer in it every single day, whether it be a mousse or a light cream, whatever the heck it is. I try to put some kind of moisture in my hair every single day. And girl, my hair just drinks it up. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you was dehydrated. I didn't know you was thirsty. My bad, girl. So I'm going to say um, goodbye tonight just in case i don't pick up the camera tomorrow and i'm just in and just in case it really is the end of the vlog but there still is a possibility that i'll pick up the camera oh this looks so pretty um there still is a possibility that um i will be talking to y'all even if it's 30 seconds you know tomorrow so we'll figure out what we'll be eating for dinner tonight and yeah because I do not want to cook again. I've been looking fresh, so fresh when I put my bonnet on. What you about to tell me? Oh, what you about to tell me? Oh, what you about? What? What? I'm just playing. Man, it ain't nothing like bleach. I tell you what. My whites have never been whiter. I can't believe I stopped using bleach. <laughs> Y'all know I talked about that in one of my recent videos where vinegar and baking soda turned my stuff yellow. Girl, I had all kind of yellow stains on my brand new $30 rugs, all over my favorite clothing pieces. Girl. So I threw them back in the washer and soaked them for 15 minutes in bleach in hopes that those stains would come out. And girl, definitely did. So fresh so fresh i love me some fresh white clothes that smell like bleach and fabric softener and yeah that stain on the jacket is very faint um you'd have to look for it to actually be able to see it no i guess you can still see it oh well girl this ain't gonna come with me on judgment day 
You feel what I'm saying? So that just goes to show you how important it is. You feel what I'm saying? I refuse to get upset about stuff like this because let me tell you something. My God is bigger than a jacket. He gonna bless me with a jacket just like that or better or similar, whatever the heck. And even if he doesn't, that's okay. Because girl, it's just a jacket. You gotta talk to yourself. I was just telling my mom today how I have to talk to myself. It's like another person in there. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out there's like another Chloe in there. <laughs> I talk to myself, y'all. I give myself pep talks. Like when I'm trying to get upset, I be like, Chloe, everything's okay. You're just fine. Or like, let's say somebody says something to me and it kind of like bothered me a little bit. I'd be like, girl, no, 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 no. Do not take offense. Offense is of the devil. If you take offense here, you'll keep taking it everywhere and you'll just always feel rejected and you'll just always feel bad about yourself. Or if temptation comes, I'd be like, girl, now you already know what it's gonna lead. Now you already know the dark hole is gonna lead you down. Are you gonna listen to your best friend, which is the Holy Spirit, or the devil? Nothing in this world, I should have mentioned this earlier, nothing in this world is as fulfilling as being a child of the Lord Jesus Christ, is as fulfilling as abiding in the word of God, is as fulfilling as knowing that Jesus Christ is with you. I'm recording this on my phone, um, but I just wanted to go ahead and quickly show you guys that this is actually what I end up making for dinner. Literally the same exact thing that I made earlier for lunch, just because it was cheap and very convenient. We already have it, I already made it, like it just makes sense. Um, I just added a Uncrustable, which I definitely gotta start buying more of these. Um, I just added an Uncrustable and some spinach, very welly seasoned spinach. So yeah, very affordable and also very delicious. This is dinner. It's the next morning y'all, it is 7, 8, we're getting ready to go ahead and head out of the door. I just thought I'd go ahead and show you guys my outfit So right here, I've got the same old same old sweatshirt I've been wearing for years It's just super bright white now because I let it soak in bleach It is a Yellowstone National Park sweatshirt and then I have on my flare white pants These are my favorite white pants. I love these you guys and as far as my shoes I'll probably just wear my low top Uggs. I really want to get like the slipper Uggs I went in December to go buy a pair, but they were like no We're not gonna be stocked up till February and now February is here and I never went. And this is what I'm looking like this morning, y'all. I went for like a thinner eyebrow look today. Slicked my hair up, y'all. Got it slick real nice. Mm-hmm. Lashes dead. Nails finna be dead. I'm feeling myself, y'all. I look very beautiful today. I feel like it's giving clean girl, y'all. It's giving clean girl. I'm gonna do the same fragrance combo as last night, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this little one fluid ounce is not gonna last your girl. Because girl, I'm gonna be spraying this every single day. Watch me. I'm gonna actually show you guys how much perfume I would spray on on like a regular morning if it's too much fragrance for you that's awesome you do not have to use as much fragrance as me this is just how much fragrance i personally like to use to have a nice strong fragrance and for it to last all day like i said it's up to you how much perfume you want to wear Then I give myself a break because it do be getting a little strong and I walk out the bathroom. And it also gives it time for the body spray to dry because I don't like for my clothes to be soaking wet. That's how much body spray I got on. Now for the perfume. And if I need to respray, I will. I'm gonna be bringing the Billie Eilish fragrance with me in my purse. Let me tell y'all something. You ain't gotta follow the regular schmegla rules everybody else follows. It's not very classy to wear too much perfume. Like it's very like classy when you wear like very light fragrances. To you, not to me. We just got done dropping Locket off. So we came to McDonald's so I can edit and we can have some breakfast. So this is our breakfast this morning. I got some apple slices. Y'all, this was $1.75. These little bacons, $1.75. <laughs> and then I got a hash brown and then some picante sauce. So that's my breakfast. And then his breakfast is sausage and neck griddles. And if we get hungry again, we're at the perfect spot. Okay. I ain't never had their bacon straight up. It looks good. Is it good? It's like a potato. It's like a potato chip. Definitely not worth the $1.75, 79 whatever the heck it was. I should have got ketchup. I love ketchup in my hash browns. You want 
Her groomer texted me 10 minutes ago saying that locket would be ready in 10 minutes. So now we're here. Jordan's going in to pay and collect my dog. And I guess we'll see what she's looking like. Like always, I'm getting her taken down real low because I don't have to get her groomed as much when I get her taken down real low, like her fur taken down real short. And she stays detangled. I don't have to like detangle her as much. Oh my goodness. There's my girl. There's my girl. Hello. Baby girl, you look so cute. No bow today. Oh, they did like a little handkerchief. That's cute. She can't jump up on me because I got these white pants on. Hi, honey. You're so cute. <laughs> look at her. You're so cute. Every time she come out there, she be so hyper. She is so hyper. <laughs> Y'all, he's yanking her back because I got on a white outfit. Go potty. go potty girl and with that being said i am now gonna go ahead and officially end off today's vlog right now we're actually headed to his family's house he's gonna be getting his hair done by his mom and i'm just gonna sit down and edit because girl this editing gotta get in hey mama oh, oh shoot okay she's never jumped in the car before she did it herself oh my gosh why is she so excited good job baby <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> y'all she wouldn't even do that with my little car this big old car you jumped up like that girl well, I love y'all. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. And it's time for your girl to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Bye, guys.